Mountainous Turkey is one of the world's most active earthquake regions. Turks know what that means and what to do if there's time to react. As soon as the shaking slowed down, we threw ourselves outside, he says. Turkey experiences major seismic activity every two years or so. This village in 1957 became a ghost town after an earthquake. In 1970, thousands of homes and public buildings collapsed. In 1999, 17,000 people were killed in Izmit. But there's been nothing like this 7.8 magnitude quake in more than 80 years. The epicenters of the main quake and a second major quake happen just 10 to 17 kilometers deep, releasing more energy on the surface and very near populated areas. I think we can expect the, the death toll um, to, uh, to increase significantly. There's been a lot of building collapses and it'll increase more significantly around the epicenter of, of, of the earthquake. The earth is enveloped by the cracked pieces of the earth's crust, tectonic plates that push and slide against each other. Turkey sits on the small Anatolian plate squeezed between a northern fault line against the Eurasian plate and the east Anatolian fault line against the Arabian plate where this earthquake happened. Pressure builds over years and finally gives and this time there was a second powerful earthquake and more than a hundred aftershocks. The Arabian Peninsula and the Eurasian continent are colliding and Turkey's more or less caught in the middle and so it's experiencing a lot of um, compressive tectonic forces. The damage was spread over a large area in southeastern Turkey and northern Syria, the ancient and fortified citadel in Aleppo, Syria, that has stood for centuries, has sustained serious damage. Specific earthquakes cannot be predicted and can't be prevented. Turkey has updated its building codes to improve seismic resistance, but whatever the construction standards, this quake has flattened thousands of buildings, and it's in or near buildings where most people are killed and injured. When you see a lot of casualties, it's because there's a very dense population and because the buildings have collapsed. And sometimes that's because of a failure of building codes, and sometimes it's just, you know, earthquakes are really strong, and no matter how well you build a building, it might collapse. The last time Turkey had a 7.8 magnitude quake was 1939. The country's population then was 17 million. Today, it's almost 87 million. As experts predicted, the death toll is climbing. Eric Sorensen, Global News.